we've got a little interesting clip from President Bill Clinton, former President Bill Clinton, uh, talking about immigration in the United States of America, and he mentions replacement theory. I don't think Americans are anti-immigration, they're anti-chaos, right? They, they don't want us to do more than we can, but they recognize, at least most people do, we got the lowest birth rate we've had in well over 100 years. We're not at replacement level, which means we got to have somebody come here if we want to keep growing the economy. So the theory that you have to grow the economy by bringing in people from other countries appears to not be working for the American economy. It doesn't appear to be working for our economy or the European economy, to, to put it bluntly. Let's talk to Robert Bates, Research Director of the Centre for Migration Control. Robert, good morning. There is this kind of view, isn't there, in, in certain, you know, what you might call metropolitan elite circles, that, oh, the only way we can fix our economy is to import a load more people because they'll have more kids. Yeah, and it's, it's a cretinous consensus that, we, unfortunately, we've been saddled with in the, in the West for several decades now. I think if you watch the, uh, the rest of that clip with, uh, with Bill Clinton, you realise just how inept his economic understanding of the problems that are posed by a uh, declining birth rate actually are. And, you know, there was no mention in his speech about the pronatal policies that should be pursued in America. There's no mention really of automation either. You know, you look at um, those individuals coming to the UK to work, those migrants coming to the UK to work, and you realize that a lot of the roles they're going into will ultimately be ones that are automated in 10 or, 10 or 20 years' time. So this idea that you have to keep bringing in people rather than making those investments in capital stock, rather than making those investments in the British, uh, in the British families and encouraging British people to have more children, mm. uh, it's leading us down a, a Ponzi scheme effectively where we have to keep importing more and more people to do low-wage roles that if we were to allow proper economic processes to unfurl would eventually be automated and we'd all be better off for it as well. Yeah, right, exactly. And also, with given the, the numbers of people coming over in small boats, the sheer numbers of, of, of those, you know, tens of thousands, I think we've now got one in ten, uh, one in a hundred rather people in this country are illegal migrants. Many of them are men, single men, young men. They're not necessarily bringing their families with them. So how are they growing the population? Well, the illegal migrants, of course, are uh, a problem that is uh, almost distinct from the legal migration consensus. But I think you're absolutely right that there is no economic virtue for a single individual that's breaking into our country no. and coming here um, under illicit means. I think ultimately we're seeing, you know, the Labour Party are looking like they're going to be engaging in more hotel renting for the foreseeable future. Right. They're putting out contracts for more processing for illegal migrants. And these people are just net economic uh, costs from the get-go. Mm. Uh, even when it comes to legal migration, however, you know, you look at the numbers and you look at the roles that these people are coming in to do, they're incredibly low paid, they're incredibly low skilled, and the actual ta tax income that we are able to fill the exchequer with from these people barely breaks even. And in, in an overwhelming number of the cases, we see that those that are arriving, the cohorts that are arriving legally, are actually imposing a huge fiscal mm. burden on the UK. Well, that's right. And, and if they do have children, if they do uh, raise families here, they actually become um, a net drain on the economy anyway, don't they? Well, that's it. So in 2018, the, uh, the Home Office and the Migration Advisory Committee uh, commissioned a report which found that, you know, a migrant needs to be earning around about £38,000 to even be breaking even in the UK. And you look at the actual statistics of what people are earning when they come to the UK, there's about 10%, 10 to 20% percent they are actually earning at that figure or above that figure. So we have a huge, huge problem in that we are uh, trying to settle and solve short-term no. problems. With and it is. It's a massive problem. We've got to run.